Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we are going to talk about multiple topics and we are first going to talk about Sergino Dest. So according to Vote Ball International, they have stated that Ajax wants to try to keep Sergino Dest at Ajax by offering him a new contract. But the negotiations haven't started yet and it seems impossible. The right back has made it clear that he wants to leave. The clubs that are interested are Bayern Munich, Barcelona and PSG and they will all need to pay 25 million euros and so i know that many of you guys are new here so i'm going to explain who sergino dest is and so this guy is a player who's 19 years old he is a right back and he does play for the united states of america and he has been developing in the youth academy since july 2012 with ajax and he has entered into the first team about a year ago and with the first team in ajax he has provided two goals and has six assists in the 2019 2020 season so he is absolutely devastating in attack and because of that because of because of the potential that he is showing on the field and what he has been doing recently he does have the potential to be barcelona's main right back but this is all going to depend on how he develops and his potential is showing because many teams across europe are very interested in this player and dest does see eye to eye with all of these clubs he understands that these these clubs are interested in him because he knows that he has the capabilities to become one of the best right backs in the world so he does want to up his level he does want to go to a bigger club and win bigger titles and when you do go to a bigger club it's never easy to start in the starting 11 especially when you want to go to Barcelona Bayern Munich Man City Real Madrid any team that's huge in Europe is always hard to really make a statement in the first team but Dest does want to challenge himself he he does believe that he can make it into the first team in whatever team that's interested in him and that's good if Dest has the confidence to do that then by all means go for it and just really give it your best when you do end up in whatever club that is and most likely it might be FC Barcelona the only worry that I do have is that Dest is from the United States and he does have citizenship in the USA and let's say Dest does go to FC Barcelona and let's assume that Lautaro Martinez is in that team by the time we get into the 2020 2021 season we are going to have three non-european players which is going to be arthur melo latoro martinez and sergino dest and this is me assuming that dest is an american player he is not from holland but it does say that he does have citizenship in the u.s so i'm assuming that he's going to take the spot of a non-european player so what does this mean this basically means that for the people who really want to see neymar jr in the first team next season neymar would have no chance to enter barcelona's first team because if neymar comes in then Barcelona is going to have four non-European players when you can only have three in the first team but Dest has made it clear that he does not want to continue with Ajax he does want to go to a bigger club do we know officially where he wants to go no we don't know yet but the team that does have the upper hand is FC Barcelona and right now FC Barcelona is looking for a new right back and Sergino Dest could be that next man now moving on to the next topic of the day and we're going to talk about Felipe Coutinho and Chelsea and so before we even get into Coutinho I do want to give you guys a quick backstory on what's been going on with Chelsea so far and the reason why I do want to bring Chelsea into this is because Coutinho and Chelsea right now do have a very strong relationship when it comes to the transfer window there has been multiple rumors and reports stating that these two are linked together but again before before we talk about Coutinho, I'm going to give you guys the story of what's been going on with Chelsea. So Chelsea right now is in a very powerful position. Like right now, they believe that they can take on the whole world when it comes to the business side. And they really have been showing that after the recent signing of Hakim Zayek. And they're almost done completing with the signing of Timo Warner. And now they are looking at a player called Kai Havertz. And it says here, according to ESPN FC, Chelsea are monitoring. Bayer Leverkusen Kai Havertz as they continue to assess their transfer market option in the belief Jadon Sancho will join Manchester United.
United. Then we have another report coming from the Guardian Sport. Chelsea have held early talks with Leverkusen and regarding signing Kai Havertz and they hope to negotiate a fee in the region of 70 million euros. So when we do head into the transfer window this summer, Chelsea are going to be very tough competitors. They do want to be very competitive in this summer and they are going to come in heavy. And the reason why Chelsea are going to come so aggressive in this transfer window is because last year they did face a transfer band, meaning that they weren't allowed to sign any players. And now that they are here, they have saved a lot of money. They knew that they needed a new restart in the squad. And that is why we are seeing Chelsea take these actions in this summer. And so when we are talking about Kai Havertz, he is a player who is highly demanded by multiple clubs around Europe, mostly from Bayern Munich, Barcelona, PSG and Real Madrid. And Chelsea is aware of this. They know that Kai Havertz is being linked to multiple clubs. They know that they are not the only club interested. But let's say that Chelsea are unable to get Kai Havertz. Where is Chelsea going to go next? And so we do have a report coming from James Oli from ESPN. He said Chelsea are one of the several clubs to have been offered the chance to sign Felipe Coutinho from Barcelona, either as a loan or on a permanent deal, but have so far proved reluctant to match the 9 million euro loan fee and the 250,000 a week wage. So even though ESPN has clearly stated that Chelsea would not be able to afford Felipe Coutinho's wages, does this mean that Coutinho cannot go to Chelsea? No, there is still a chance of him going to Chelsea. This is a very long summer. Is Felipe Coutinho the first choice for Chelsea? No, Chelsea right now are looking at Kai Havertz. They believe that he is the man to really run that midfield. But right now Coutinho is an option for Chelsea and so because we are seeing Chelsea come in with this very aggressive approach this summer and knowing that they do want to sign a midfielder and if they fail to sign Kai Havertz could this mean that Chelsea might turn into Felipe Coutinho and say you know what maybe the investment of 250,000 could be worth it if we can get the Coutinho signing right and we know exactly what to do with him could we actually see Chelsea permanently sign Coutinho because we also know that Coutinho does have the desire to join the EPO and so it almost seems like the perfect match and as for Barcelona this could almost be the perfect opportunity to finally find a buyer a real buyer for Felipe Coutinho and would be able to afford the 75 to 80 million euros for Felipe Coutinho's services and that would be a great deal for FC Barcelona but then again this is only if Kai Havertz does not go to Chelsea and if Chelsea are very demanding on looking for a midfielder so it's going to be very interesting on how all of this turns out in the summer so what we know now is that Chelsea are very serious on bringing in Kai Havertz along with many other clubs so this is all going to depend on where Kai Havertz is going to go but if that fails Coutinho could be an option and many other clubs like Newcastle Everton and Tottenham will be eyeing Felipe Coutinho now moving on to the next topic of the day and we are going to talk about Lautaro Martinez and so we do have some updates not specifically about Lautaro Martinez but what the people around him and who's associated with him have said in the past couple of hours so as of now the negotiations have stalled between Barcelona and Inter Milan there has been no back and forth conversations recently but we did have the sporting director and the CEO of Inter Milan speak out to the media and so this is what he said he said it's difficult to comment on the future of Lautaro at this time maybe they also have alternatives I hope they don't pay the clause in case of a farewell comes a player of great weight a top player but to him I say this stay focused on the present there is a season that resumes there are objectives to achieve we can make sure the players must be protagonist on Inter's part there is no willingness to sell Lataro he is young he has a future and is important to Conte. And so with this statement, it's clear that the sporting director himself even knows that Lautaro Martinez could be leaving this summer. And there is nothing that he can do about it because he clearly stated and said, I hope they don't pay the clause because if Barcelona pay the clause, Lautaro Martinez will leave and Inter Milan will have nothing to do with it anymore and Martinez will be a Barcelona player. And this is also telling us that Inter Milan have admitted that they know that Martinez wants to leave to FC Barcelona. So this is no secret, Inter Milan know Martinez's desire. And this is where it gets very, very interesting. And he said this, he has a 111 million clause 
that will expire on July 7th. His sale can be done only like this. The player can wait and grow with us. And so these words were a much aggressive approach because in his words, he did include the price of the player and the date that it expires so why would the ceo want to be so detailed in this conversation and it's simply because he only wants to put pressure on fc barcelona to really just say hey look pay the 111 million and it's yours if not by july 7th there could be a potential path where barcelona is not going to be able to bring in lataro martinez and this is all a tactical move this is simply how the italians like to negotiate through the media to put pressure on other clubs. And notice how he said that on July 7th, that's when the clause will expire. Recently, we have heard that the expiration date of the clause was going to expire on July 18th or 19th, but this is a earlier date and Inter Milan are standing firm on this release clause, which is 111 million euros. And so this can only go into two different ways. Barcelona will only have two options, and that is to pay the 111 million in cash or just pull out from the deal and look elsewhere. Inter Milan do not want any other player. The only thing that they do want is cash. And with that being said, it's really starting to look unlikely that Martinez could go to FC Barcelona. And we do have a report coming from Di Marzio saying that till this day, you can say that it's all on standby. Then Inter still don't have a replacement ready with Werner going to Chelsea and Cavani taking his time. And then we have another report coming from Fabrizio Romano stating this deal is getting even more complicated. Barcelona cannot pay the 111 million release clause and won't be using any type of in investment fund so clearly the only solution now for barcelona is to sell the players that they currently have and that is where the question comes in which is who are going to be the players that are going to be sold and if barcelona don't sell the right players and sell them for the right price it's going to be very unlikely that martinez could come to fc barcelona so fc barcelona have to do really good business this summer and they have to do it fast before the 7th of july date because who knows on on July 7th, that release clause of Lataro Martinez could rise. And now moving on to the last topic of the day, and we are going to talk about Garcia Pimienta. And it says here, according to Jared Romero, Garcia Pimienta, Barza B coach, ends his contract on June 30th. A new contract for one year is being evaluated with an option to extend for another year. There was a meeting held regarding the contract yesterday. And so Garcia Pimienta is that coach where he really gave birth to the these great players so any Barza B player that you think is good or who is on loan or who is in the Barcelona first team right now that is all because of Garcia Pimienta he is the man who really transitioned these players into the first team well and I know that we have seen many Barcelona B players not really blossom in the first team but that is only because everyone that's involved in the club like the sporting director the board and maybe even president Bartomeu they all really do lack a project and they do lack planning. And because of that, under the presidency of Bartomeu, the youth have not been greatly utilized. But besides that, since all of that is out of Pimienta's hands, Pimienta in the Barza B team, he has been doing his job. He is doing a great job. He does bring out a lot of players into the first team and that is all that we are asking from him. And so he does deserve a new contract and we hope that that deal does get done as soon as possible because he fully deserves it. And so that is it for today's Barcelona Daily news thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video